So we went to wordpress.org. Step one. We download WordPress. We go to mamp.info. We download the silver MAMP, this guy here. That's the first step we download. Then we install MAMP just like we would any other application. First step, finished. Second step, we got the files from our WordPress folder. Um, after dumping it, hang on. So we had uh, WordPress zip. So we got the files from our WordPress folder. Double click to open up the zip file. There's our WordPress folder. We took all of these files. Sorry. We took all of these files. Okay, I'm just going to leave them highlighted over there. I'm going to open another finder window. We go into MAMP. Remember, we're, trying, we're, we're telling MAMP what to look for when it loads up. So, into HT Docs. So you can just follow this process exactly. Get all of these files. I've already done it here, but take all of these and bring them into HT Docs. Step two done. So step one was download and install. Step two was we put all those files into HT Docs in MAMP. Remembering that MAMP is located in our applications folder. I then took MAMP, the actual application, and I dragged it down to the dock. I then clicked on it to open it, and we got green for go. What po popped open was this start page, and this is our step three. And step three is PHP my admin, my admin. Create new database, call it WordPress, click create, and that's it. Then we immediately step out of PHP my admin, we're never going to go back in there again. We don't need to. Okay. So I'm just going to close that. Open the start page again, but you remove all of this. And you just want your local host 8888. 8888 corresponds to the port. Local host 8888. Enter. And that's your website. It wants you to create a configuration file. This is where it starts getting easier and easier and easier. Click create configuration file. Database name, database. This is the one, remember we created that database in the previous step. So we'll go, let's go. Database name was WordPress, that's what we named it. Username, by default, is root. Password, by default, is root. Okay. Click submit. We don't need any super duper passwords and privacy admin names, but this is our local host, this is our machines or sandbox that we play with. So we just root and root is fine. Click run the install. Okay. Site title, so I'm just gonna say my Mac. Okay. Password, admin, admin. Again, don't need super duper anything. Just filling in the form. Install. That's it. Click uh, lobby in here. Admin, admin. WordPress. If I go to the website, so this is the back end. If I just go to the website itself, 